Hello and welcome to the Classical Club. I'm Ruth Rogers, one of the leaders of the London Mozart Players, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the concert we're performing on the 24th of September in the style of our Mozart Mondays. So, Prokofiev's Classical Symphony, a, a neoclassical work very much inspired by Mozart and Haydn, it, he says he nicknamed it the Classical Symphony in the hope that it would become a classic, which indeed it did. And the interesting thing is that Prokofiev was determined to write this piece without a piano. He felt that orchestration would be much more natural and imaginative without the help of a piano. He, he said the danger was that you would over-orchestrate over if you had a piano to work on. So he went and lived by himself with no piano while he wrote this work. And I'm just going to read you something that the composer Schmidt said about the piece. The classical symphony is an enchantment, a sort of unpublished Mozart. It possesses all his grace, fluidity and divine perfection. And the orchestration streams out in crystal jets. It would be impossible to achieve a pastiche with more ingenuity or science. For in the case of Monsieur Prokofiev, the complete artist, knowledge equals imagination. So it is indeed pastiche, but I love that about the orchestration streams out in crystal jets. You'll hear the use of the wind players is really magical and remarkable. And it's something I think he was probably very proud of. He started writing it in 1916, just two years after completing his studies at the St. Petersburg Conservatory. So he was still a very young man. And I think you can hear that in the energy and the effervescence of the writing. And it was first performed in St. Petersburg in 1918. Anyway, I have to say, I really enjoy playing it. And one more thing you might find interesting is that for a lot of string players, excerpts of the symphony are used in orchestral auditions. So there are parts of the symphony that we've all practiced many, many times.